There's a lot of talk about Elon Musk these days. But what he isn't saying, and what we aren't hearing, is perhaps more interesting. Let me explain. The world's richest man is taking us to outer space. Well, maybe not quite yet. But his stated goal is to make life multiplanetary, specifically on the planet Mars. But living out the remainder of your life on Mars, woe, and be quite like living out your life here on Earth. Here are some things that Elon Musk isn't telling you about Mars. Mars has an extremely thin atmosphere. It's about 100 times thinner than the Earth's atmosphere. It's also mostly made up of carbon dioxide. So unless you have a spacesuit on, you're not going to last very long on Mars. And the air that you do get will be very cold. Temperatures on Mars average about 220 degrees Celsius, or about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. And there's no magnetic field to speak of, which means you're constantly bombarded by deadly cosmic radiation. Also, the soil on Mars contains high levels of toxic compounds called perchlorates. So even if you were to survive the journey and set foot on the planet, you wouldn't last long in that thin toxic air. So it would seem that a trip to Mars wouldn't be a quick one and you'd be right. A one-way trip to Mars would take about seven to nine months. And that's only possible during a specific launch window that occurs every 26 months when the planets are aligned just right. Okay, so it's dangerous and it's expensive. So who's going to go to Mars? Well, that's where this new space race comes in. Private space companies have drastically reduced the cost of launches over the past decade. In fact, the most recent launch of a Falcon 9 rocket which is the most frequently used orbital launch vehicle in the world right now. It costs less than $1 million per kilogram to send into space. That's a small fraction of what it used to cost. This has made space exploration and research much more accessible for government agencies, like NASA and academic institutions around the world. The result is that progress in astrophysics and our quest to understand the universe is accelerating. So while Elon Musk isn't quite ready to take us to Mars, we should be grateful that he and other private companies are boldly going where no one has gone before so that one day we can all follow. No human has ever set foot on Mars. Every mission to the planet so far has been robotic rovers and orbiters. Perhaps one day you'll get to experience the thrill of walking on Mars for yourself. But until that day comes, we can be grateful for the stunning images captured by the rovers and orbiters that have come before us. I've been your host. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe for more updates.